Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. This is Train Fever. And we've got a lovely little outside view of Congleton. Because it is, it is of course, Congleton. Getting my words mixed up a little bit there. But it is, of course, Congleton that is... Um, you know, it is actually bringing in a heck of a lot of money in combination with Sidmouth for the shitty Sidmouth line. They're they're both very, 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 very populated by people, and as such, we're getting a shit ton of money. Now, how is the train service that we introduced in the uh, in the last episode doing? I mean, Tunneler, how is that doing? How many passengers have we managed to get on the Tunneler line? I imagine we're going to be losing a shit ton of money. Yeah. Also, trams in Whitby. I hope that that becomes a very profitable enterprise very, very quickly. But who knows, actually, who knows? Which is the city with the largest population? That's my question. It is Woburn. Okay. Uh, then I think that we need to probably get trams in Woburn as well. We've got one passenger on the tunneler. And we've got zero passengers waiting. Are you kidding? Really? It's that bad? Wow. Wow, okay, so I did not realize that the situation was that terrible. Because that is really, really bad. Two passengers waiting. That is abysmally small. My god. I mean, Whitby and... Whitby is a pretty big city. Congleton's a little bit bigger, so you'd expect... You'd expect at least a little bit of demand, wouldn't you? But no, absolutely nothing. That is... So surprising. So very, very surprising. Absolutely nothing. Lit literally nobody over here. I mean, I don't really want to just continually lose money on this. But it looks like... 17 grand. That's nothing. It looks like we are going to be losing big money on this. Zero passengers. On a very, very, very long straight of track. Not very good at all, folks. Not very good at all. I can tell you that for sure. So, Woburn being the biggest city, we probably want to capitalize on that and uh, and do something about it. Now, nobody waiting over here. Now, where's the tram gone? Ah, there it is. We found it. Zero out of ten passengers. Still nobody. Nobody is getting on the trams. That is, that is deeply annoying. However, the situation in Woburn is slightly different. Nine people waiting at a station. I mean, that's something that we could capitalize on. I'm gonna unload you. Or just go to depot. Go to depot, buddy. Alright, let's, uh, in fact, no. Let's put you back on Bussy. Put you back on Bussy. And then let's send everybody at Bussy back to the depot and sell. Okay? It's ballsy. I know. It is very, very ballsy. But we've got the money to actually make substantial improvements to the uh, network that we've got over here. An electric tramway. Which the tramway is fine, thank you. Just a normal tramway. Let's upgrade it all to make it into a bus and tram station. Oh, are you kidding me? The passengers all go away? Oh, shit. Oh, this is very, very good news. We've got some brand new tech to play around with. And it looks like they're actually going to be pretty darn useful. So, this is kind of a, a major deal. But basically, what we're doing here is we're just changing up things a little bit. Making it so everything is tramified. If this is the biggest city, we might as well introduce the greatest and latest tech. There's a collision over there. Oh, shit. Are we not going to be able to... Okay, this is uh, potentially a problem for us. Are we going to be able to get tramway across there? Who knows at this point. Stay tuned to find out. Nothing, but... That's really annoying, actually. Alright, well, it's basically dirt cheap to upgrade everything to tram lines anyway, so we might as well do it. Yeah, nothing that we can do about, uh, 
But the collision's over here. There we go. Is there a possibility? Is there a possibility of us, um... Like, building a road over? Like, oh shit, do I need to build road? Building a road over here, and is it page up? No, it's uh, M and N, isn't it? That's the one. No. Let me try again. M and N. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now, am I going to be able to upgrade this to tramway? Oh shit, I totally can. Well, I don't know how this is going to work. I have literally no idea how this is going to work. We're going to give it a shot though, that's for sure. Electric tramway. What's the difference between electric tramway and just normal tramway? I honestly have no idea. Zero idea whatsoever, folks. Uh, let's try and upgrade this to the next tier of road because there could be a lot of people coming across it. In fact, can we upgrade it even further? Wow, this is going to be big and beefy. Collision terrain alignment. Let's get rid of all that. And then place in the biggest road. Oh shit, we can just place it with tram track. Sweet. There we go. Just in case, just in case there's, you know, super high demand. Let's just try and connect that up there. I don't think this house is going to cost too much to demolish. I was right. It always feels good to be right. There we go. Sweet. So, Bussy. We can now deploy trams to, theoretically. I think. I don't know. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to wait and see, aren't we? Wow, is this little this little area has come a long way, actually? Huh. Okay, so from Windsor Road, let's try and uh, let's let's put some tram track down over here. This seems like a little area that we haven't covered as of yet. I'm pretty sure that this is just expanded natively. Uh, no, we just need some bus stations. Thanks. All right, add station, plonk, plonk. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's buy some trams and uh, and see what happens. Did we not upgrade this? Oh shit, we didn't upgrade that area to trams. Although, let's just have a look and see what we have a look at. See what we have a look at. See what we uh, see what we can do with this. Seven wood or eight goods. Okay, so it seems that we're going to be auto upgrading a heck of a lot of stuff. 11 passengers. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I want trams. Yeah, trams. Let's do trams. Uh... Oh, shit. Do we actually need a different tram station? Of course we do. <laughs> that makes sense now. Maybe maybe there? Yeah, why not over there? Buy trams. Let's get the... Let's get these ones. Yeah. Let's deploy them on the... Bussy line. Good, good, good. And we'll probably buy more trams. Buy three more trams. And we'll deploy them when this tram gets a little bit further around. Now, I don't know if it's recalibrated the route. So, Bussy. I imagine... Yeah, now factors into the, to the fact that it's got to go across the bridge over here. That's fine. It's not going to be a major deal for us. It's just going to take a smidgen longer. That's great. All right. So as soon as the tram gets to here, I guess we'll release another one. Something like that, maybe. Or maybe there. Somewhere. Okay, now let's have a look at the, the lines which still actually use the uh, vehicles, normal vehicles. I mean, the line that I was thinking of was you got wood, but um, I completely forgot that we did end up actually replacing that we ended up replacing you got wood with a with a brand new spank and train service and in all honesty look at look at how much money we're making we're making so much more money than we ever were and we're carrying the same amount of goods and it looks like there's a fine amount of stuff waiting 
nothing too much, but nothing too little either. I mean, I kind of like cargo. Cargo is this new and exciting thing that I, I don't think we've explored too, too much. All right, where's the tram? Let's get this in five times speed because I want to deploy trams onto the line fairly quickly. Stick it on bussy. There we go. Get rid of you. I don't know if we're getting any passengers. That's the question, though. It'll take a while to, you know, work up the demand a little bit, but I would be hoping for a lot of passengers very, very soon indeed. Although, you know, obviously we can, we can sort of subsidize this line for a little bit. It's not too much of an issue if we can't, because, you know, we're, we're fine in terms of finances. We are absolutely fine in terms of finances. I just want to make sure that there's a, a, a good, proper, even spacing. And we've also uh, seen a passenger over there, so that's really, really good to see. Very, very happy with that. Alright, there we go. Just one more tram to deploy. How many passengers have we got over here? Six passengers! Holy shit! We might actually turn a profit on this, uh, on this line. You never bloody well know, do you? You never bloody well know. Wow, you're even picking up passengers over there. You've got one passenger. I mean, that's not bad for a little area that's, uh, that's just outside of town. So I'll take it. I will take that any day of the week. All right. The last train is going to be set on to Bussy. Fantastic. I think the spacing on that's all right. It should be. Yeah. Is this tram is this tram two? That's tram three. That's the new tram that we just deployed. Okay, that's fine. And now tram two is gonna be coming back to the other side of the bridge. Oh, that's tram four. Oh, I guess they have to come back to go to this station. The avenue. Ah, yeah, we need to change that. We need to change it. We don't want them to be coming back and forth. Yeah, let's delete that station. I think that that is uh, the best course of action. Unless, unless we put in a station right after. Just thinking about this. Put it in. We put it in there. I don't even why know why we demolished the station. We could have just reassigned it, but I want it to be grand and spectacular. We're losing a little bit of money at the moment, which is a little bit annoying. But fingers crossed, we can turn a profit. And if we can't turn a profit, then all we need to do is uh, is get some trams off. So we'll take some trams off the service. Add the avenue back on there. Should make it a little bit easier to turn a profit. I think so anyway. I think. We'll try. We'll try that. So you should... Oh, it's number four as well, the avenue. Remove that from number four. It would make it easier if we stuck it on the other side of the road, but... Who cares? It's fine. It should be great. It should work just uh, absolutely perfectly. Now, I am aware that as the city sort of expands, we need to keep on adding new stations onto the to the big route. And that's something that we'll probably think about doing. Um, but for now, you know, it's just making sure that the city is is big enough to, to support the tram network because it's not it's not cheap to run the tram network. It's not expensive either, but it's not exactly cheap and we are losing money from it. So thrilling. Uh, where is shit name? I was feeling in a really creative mood when I named that one, apparently. Where is this? Is this in Kirkby? Yeah, this is in Kirkby. How are we losing money in, at this? Because looks like there's a good few passengers waiting. Two passengers over there. All right, everybody, you're going back and you're getting you're getting sold, because now, that's right, we are going to buy, buy our very 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 first brand new road vehicle, and we're only going to buy one of them. Right? That's the crazy thing. We're only going to buy one of them. We're losing basically. 22k on that route and we're gonna make we're gonna make we're gonna use running costs of 22k on uh, on this bus so let's use one bus instead of 
wasting money on four slow buses. No, not on Bussy. Not on Bussy. You need to be on, uh, shit name. There we go. That was almost close. That's good. Smashing. Very, very happy with that. Are we losing money on anything else? We're losing money on Tunneler. And we're losing money on the tram in Whitby. Maybe we revert from using the trams in Whitby. I mean, I know that, you know, the tram in Whitby was kind of like our first experiment with tramage. We got zero passengers. Zero passengers. How is, how is that good? That's not good at all. But I suppose maybe we just need a little bit of time for the, the trams to build up. The trams to build up a little bit of public support. I mean, maybe it is possible. Who bloody knows at this point? Who bloody knows? How's our goods train doing? Well, it's not technically our goods train, but I think you get the picture. I think the goods trains seem to be doing uh, pretty darn well. Just waiting around for a couple more goods. Man, we are making so much money. So much money from this wood depot. Look at the amount of money that we're making. Look at it. One train, 838k. That is disgusting. I mean, that's bigger than everything apart from pretty much the Sidmouth line. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbloody believable. That is crazy. Um, so with that, I think that we phased out pretty much all of the old vehicles. I don't think there's a single old vehicle sitting around here anymore. And apart from maybe one... Yeah. Is that our last old vehicle? I think this might actually be our last old vehicle. Vehicle will be sold on arrival. Man, sad time, eh? The very last horse-drawn cart is being phased out on, uh, on June the 15th? June the 15th, 1914. And we got 300 bucks for it. Wow. The fact that we got 300 bucks for it shows you that it's been in service for a long time. We should have checked how much how, how long it was in service for, how much service it did. But you know what? Who really gives a damn anyway? Hi. Oh, look. Some private motor cars. It's heading all the way over here to some commercial building. Cool. I think that's awesome. People are uh, are not needing a bus to get around anymore because they've got motor cars. Awesome. We've got four passengers on the, on the big old classic bus over here. My god. The Mercedes-Benz. Looking good. Looking very, very good. It's impressive. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think that this actually might be one of the more successful ventures that are uh, on road. I really am very, very hopeful. Because we only need to make a little bit of money to make this thing turn a profit. Only a little bit of money. Only a little bit of money. And as soon as we start making a little bit of money, then, you know, we can we can increase the number of buses. Um, how's our tram service doing? So the tram service in Whitby, still losing us money. What about, uh, what about Bussy? Well, it's not even called Bussy anymore. Seems that we're losing a heck of a lot of money on this tram line. I say a heck of a lot of money. We're losing a little bit more for the Bridge of Kirkby at the moment, but that'll even itself out, I think. Um, for Bussy, it seems that we are still making a loss. Why is that? Why is that? Are all the trams, like, pushed together or something? Wait, what? Yeah, okay. 17 passengers there. When do people get to to Park Street or whatever it is? Church Street, even. It's number three on the list. Why is it taking so darn long? It's Tram 2. Okay, okay. So Tram 2 is just starting to start its, uh, its return. Oh, you know what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Park Lane. Why did you not go to Main Street? Cool, whatever. I mean, I guess that's fine, but it still confuses me. Hmm. 
let's pause this a second because I'm I'm confused as wait what? Yeah, you're going up here, aren't you? Yeah, you should be going to this one, then to this one, and then back to this one. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'm just going crazy, or maybe I just saw something that I mistook for something else. Who knows? But it seems that we are we are managing to get quite a few passengers to come on these services. So much so that I'm thinking we may eventually have to upgrade to this bad boy. You know? He's got a trailer car, which is kind of amazing. Kind of awesome, actually. Uh, but we're not going to do that until we're actually making a profit on, on this line. Because at the moment, we're, uh, we're not making a profit. It's alright, though. We're not going to worry about it too, too much. Park Road. How many passengers are waiting over here? 9, 13. 13? 13 passengers? Oh my god. That's kind of insane. Maybe, you know what, maybe we'll trial test one. I mean, I really do want to buy one of these things. We'll trial test one. We'll stick it on Bussy. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Nothing too crazy goes down. This is just a trial test. Just a trial test. And I probably, I probably released it into the world at completely the wrong time, but who really cares? It's going to be fun to see uh, exactly what happens with it anyway. And how many passengers does it actually manage to get? That's what's, that's what's curious, I think. Alright, so... Great Wall of Whitby Line. 22 passengers ready to be picked up. The capacity of 30. 25 passengers, 26 passengers maybe. 26 passengers, perfect. That's not exactly great, but it's, uh, it's a good start, you know. Woburn is really, really big. I mean, I suppose, I suppose it does have reason to be big, because if you think about it, since the very beginning of the game, we've been transporting uh, people from Whitby to Woburn, and then shortly after that, from Kirkby to Ashfield. Kirkby to Ashfield? No, from Kirkby to Woburn. That was another, um, another very important route for us. And also, we've been supplying it with goods for, like, ages, you know? We've, we've been doing a lot of work to supply it with goods. Um, there's a seriously massive goods train there's a lot of demand for goods up here so you know it's it's grown like wildfire i guess and uh, and that's just what's happened that's just what's happened 21 passengers waiting over there oh my goodness what is this is that a tram is that a tram that i see looks like a train Shit, oh my god. Let's pause. I want wait, wait, let's not pause. Let's not pause yet. I want to see how many passengers we get from this station because we're going to be able to pick up pretty much all of them, actually. Okay, that's what happens. All right, I'm with you. My god, 21 out of 21 passengers. How insane is that? And you've got 10 out of 10. How are we still losing money on this? That is my question. Do we need to... We should need to put our fares up if we're losing money. Oh my god, because that's a physical move that's totally possible. Like, legitimately, how are we losing money? We made 2k there. And we lost another 2k. How? How are we losing money on this? Like, tell me, folks. How are we losing money on this? Because I really don't know. We shouldn't be. I mean, if we're managing to fill out entire trams, then we should be in the money. But I guess we're not. Oh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Train Fever. It's worth noting that, uh, you know, for each minute that we play, our, our, our money just slowly, slowly, slowly ticks on up. And we're getting ever closer to that sweet, sweet, uh, sweet, sweet spot of being able to introduce the massive, massive bridges to the lake. And uh, we'll see how that works. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Robert Potato, and I'll see you next time. Bye.